I have the OnePlus 15 here. And in today's video, I'll be showing you how to enable developer mode on Color OS. Since this phone was imported from China, it currently has Oppo's Color OS installed instead of Oxygen OS. And this means the process to access the hidden developer options menu is slightly different than with other phones that are currently on the market. And before we dive in, if you end up running into any issues following this guide, or you just have a question about Android in general, then please send in an email to questions at explainingandroid.com. And if enough people start sending in these emails, I can put together a weekly or monthly Q&A video for the community. With the OnePlus 15, we can enable developer mode by first launching into the settings application. And then from here, we scroll all the way down to the bottom of this menu so that we can tap into the about device section. Then we scroll down again, except this time we're going to look for the menu labeled version and we tap into here. Now on most Android devices out there, we need to tap on an entry labeled build number in order to enable developer mode. But with the OnePlus 15 that has Color OS installed, we're actually looking for the version number entry, which is going to be located within the version submenu. And it's going to be at the top right here. So once you get to this page, all you have to do is tap on the version number entry until the toast message at the bottom tells you that you have enabled developer mode. Now, if you have a pin pattern or password, you will be told to confirm, and then you'll see that toast message at the bottom telling you that you are a developer. With that done, we can go back to the previous menu, go back again to the previous menu, and this time we're going to look into the system and update menu because you will then find a newly revealed developer options menu that you did not have before. You have to enable developer mode before you can gain access to the developer options menu. For anyone who is new to OnePlus phones, or if you're just new to Android in general, then I recommend that you take your time going through all of these features within the developer options menu. Because there are a ton of changes that you can make to the Android operating system directly from here. Some of these are going to be small, subtle tweaks to the firmware, while others can actually drastically change how the phone functions. Now, as always, feel free to use the comment section down below if you have any questions about these features. I just have to ask that you give this video a like and leave a check mark emoji in the comment section if these steps ended up working for you. That way, the rest of the community knows that this guide contains accurate information.